this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and I have some devastating news to break to you guys. The the devs over at Capital Games have been lying to us. Now, I know what you guys are thinking, that that, that can't be, the devs would never lie and or mislead us, and I, I'm as shocked as you are. I mean, this is... This is there are no words for, for the betrayal that I'm feeling now. But but what I'm talking about is if you go over to the, the new hero resistance fin kit, it shows this this synergy and you see Jedi Training Ray, R2D2, and, and C3PO, which we all know are, are resistance. Then you have General Kenobi, which which at first on its head seems like, oh well that's just you know, that's just odd. That's theory crafting. They're like, oh, he he is the best fit for this kit. And, and all right, fine. But then you think about it. Uh, this fin, clearly different from the original fin that we have. The original fin is from episode seven, um, designed in and around episode seven. We didn't get an episode eight fin. But this, the one that they're giving us now is clearly an episode nine fin. You look at his hair, you can compare him to uh, the Finn in Episode 9. The outfit is definitely Episode 9. I mean, the whole slacks, the pants, the, the jacket, everything. Episode 9 Finn. In, in Episode 7, he's not a Resistance hero necessarily. Episode 8, I mean, you could kind of say, yeah, he had become a Resistance hero, but his word hadn't spread. This is, he is an established Resistance hero. Right? At least that's the way that I'm taking this character. Now, that's all well and good, right? We know that he's in Episode 9, or this character is in Episode 9, Finn. But then you go over to the Dev, Dev Insight. And as, as you read about this, it says that the this Finn is going to work best in a fully resistance team. Now, that makes sense because that's the way that they wanted Hux to operate. They wanted Hux to be in a fully First Order team. You've got Finn in a fully Resistance team. Or or so they would want you to believe. But I don't remember when General Kenobi became part of the Resistance. Do you? That feels wrong to me. Now, either they're going to give General Kenobi a Resistance tag, which doesn't seem likely or reasonable, or smart, even. Or, General Kenobi is a placeholder. Now, this has got me thinking. If you continue to read that developer insight, it also says that the reason they didn't rework the old Finn is because the old Finn has a great place in the game right now. They've tweaked him to a point where they're like, yes, we're good. Jedi training ray. Uh, Resistance, uh, Jedi Training Ray, BB-8, R2-D2, C-3PO, and Finn. Great! Well, if that's the case, all, all of that tag, that, that whole synergy section where it's like, hey, this is the crew that's, that synergizes best with this new Finn, is a lie! It has to be! Now, if that's the case, then who is this Finn going to work with? Now, I, I've got to say, there's a lot of speculation out there. And, and I do think, I've, I've run this team, I've run the, the, rec, the, the recommended team, or at least a tweak of the recommended team, against the Heroic Rancor. And obviously, he just this team destroys the Heroic Rancor. It's solid, it's good, it doesn't do as well as the First Order does. I think that's because the Resistance values life a little more than the First Order does. Just saying. But... I, I don't know, like, I, I, I've i tested him out, and I don't think he operates as well as he could. Now, I wouldn't be shocked if, if C-3PO and R2-D2 were the best uh, way for this, this new Finn to, to play out, or, or did take, make up part of the team that this new Finn would play out, because they've got some great synergy together, um, they, they, they work well together. And maybe on a three-on-three -three team, I could see how that would be good. I mean, considering right now that we're doing three-on-three -three, uh, territory battles or uh, territory wars, 
uh, I'm, I'm curious to know, maybe, right? They do mention territory battles and wars and a grand arena in, uh, in this insightful post. But I've got to wonder if there are more characters on the way. Now, we do know the next little bit, and by that, by that I mean probably the first quarter of the following year, will take place or will revolve around Episode Nine. Now, if that is the case, then we have to ask ourselves, who is going to be added to the game from Episode Nine? Now, I want to specifically focus on who could fit well with a Finn kit, right? With this this new Finn kit. And first and foremost, guys, we have to address the elephant in the room. And that is that when Finn, and Finn when, when episode seven came out, there was a bromance that raged hotter than the fires on Megito. And, and that was Finn and Poe. Clearly, the Finn and Poe bromance is real it is it is one that is a bromance to go down in for the ages akin to bill and ted and and it was great in the beginning when these two characters were launched it's faded over time but it hasn't faded in the films it definitely hasn't faded in the books and i've got to say that I would be absolutely shocked if Poe Dameron was not added to the game in the form of quite possibly a legendary journey, a hero's journey, or simply a, a good marquee. Now, if you look at Hux, Hux is great in a First Order team. He was good in other teams, but they nerfed him for those other teams. It didn't really affect Hux's position in a First Order team. So what I'm saying is, is we could be getting a Finn. We could be getting a Poe. And Poe would actually be the leader. Now, I say that without giving any spoilers. If you just look at the content, the comics, the books, um, even the cartoon Resistance, you see Poe taking on a Resistance leadership position i i just gotta say that in the comics in all of these this content we see leia grooming poe to become the next the next resistance leader right uh we saw it a little bit in episode seven we definitely see a lot of it in episode eight in the book resistance reborn it is prominent that she still hasn't recovered from her Mary Poppins flight back from space. And Poe needs to step up and be a leader. This You see definitely a lot of this in the comics. I just got to say, guys, I think General Poe Dameron or Commander Poe Dameron or Vice Admiral Poe Dameron, I don't know what they're going to call him, but they're going to call him something, and he's going to be a solid, solid leader now resistance wise i mean there's a lot of people that could be added to this you could get snap wexley i've said this many times if we get snap wexley i would love to see mr bones i don't think we're gonna see mr bones snap wexley is that guy who's been in every of the sequel trilogy movies he is a main character in the star wars aftermath books he's known well enough that he could be added to the game and people would have a fun fan base. Now, he would most likely come as a marquee. He would most likely come with a ship. That would make the most sense. You could also get, and, and this is my, my, my absolute desire, you could have a character that's a rebel and a resistance character. And that would be in the form of the scoundrel, the smuggler, Nian Num. Now, Nian clearly is in the old trilogy i've he, he he's a kind of a, a castaway character in the movies but he definitely has a good following a good backstory in the old trilogy he's well known enough nian would be a great character now what would his kit look like i don't necessarily know we could also see old wedge old lando 
if we are going for like marquee characters, I could definitely see a Jenna from the the, the episode nine. Jenna is the the character who rides in on the horse looking things. Um, right. We, we know that she's a character again from episode nine from the trailers. No spoilers there. I wouldn't be shocked to see a General Organa, but at the same time, if they haven't given her to us yet, maybe we'll get one. And if we do, in what movie will her kit be based off of? Will we get a seven, eight, or nine? I don't know. There's a lot of potential there, but but hands down, I'm thinking that what we're going to see is Poe Dameron being at it. We know that uh, a galactic hero awesome kit ray is going to be added and then finn those three will be a trio for sure who are the other two or the others i think we could see nia num i think we could see snap i think we could see jaina i think old lando old wedge which you know if you've seen any of my videos recently you know that 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 actor has going is going to play a role in episode nine what it is i won't say but definitely those original three what do you guys think who do you think uh capital games is lying to us about who do you think they're they're holding back and not telling us about i i think that it's it's quite a few people now they're they're definitely going to give us more soon as we have more people uh see episode nine could we see some non-spoilery characters as early as tomorrow possibly with the christmas break coming maybe maybe not um who could we see i don't know i think the flood of resistance characters the flood of episode nine characters will start sometime in early january now that being said guys leave a comment in the section below let me know what you guys think is coming and were you just as mad about being lied to i mean this this is the first time i can remember ever being deceived by capital games but maybe i've missed a few things <laughs> what do you guys think like subscribe share Check me out on our at Real Going Nerdy on Twitter and on Instagram. You, if you are interested in a free Audible trial, there's some great audiobooks specifically in the Star Wars universe. Check out the links below. You can get two free Audible books and a free trial for a month, plus a bunch of other stuff that Audible gives uh, along with that free trial. It is absolutely wonderful. Sign up for a month, quit, and then you still get, you know, you still get your, your you keep the two books and you help the channel. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and as always, my friends, smile and stay nerdy.